Hello friends, uh, welcome to this lecture. In this lecture, we will continue our study of uh, uh, hyperbolic equation, in particularly uh, wave equation. So, uh, in uh, if you recall in previous lecture, we have discussed uh, the um, wave equations in uh, two dimension, uh, particularly in uh, rectangular domain and uh, in uh, cylindrical domain. And uh, in uh, today's lecture, we will discuss some more uh, uh, type of wave equation. In particular, like we are looking as a non-homogeneous wave equation. So, non-homogeneous wave equation means uh, your uh, vibration is uh, happening under the uh, say some kind of external driving force and because of external driving force your natural uh, uh, waves and natural uh, frequencies are uh, say perturbed and we try to see that how we can find out the uh, solution under the uh, presence of external driving force. So, let us uh, consider a uh, one dimensional uh, uh, case and we consider the force vibration solution of non homogeneous equation. So, here uh, we have to consider the problem of uh, force vibration of a finite string uh, due to external force. If we assume that the string is released from rest from its equilibrium position, the resulting motion of the string is governed by the following equation u t t minus u x x equal to f x t. So, uh, in the beginning it is uh, released from rest and now uh, from uh, t greater than or equal to 0 onward we are putting uh, uh, a function f of x t as a uh, say pressure on this. So, as a function which uh, govern this uh, entire uh, partial differential equation along with the boundary condition u 0 t equal to u l t equal to 0 here and initial condition as u x 0 equal to u t x 0 equal to 0. So, here we are taking both boundary condition as well as uh, initial condition uh, initial condition as 0. If you uh, here um, we can take a more general problem here we can consider this u t t u t t minus uh, say u x x equal to f of x t and uh, your initial u 0 t equal to say f 1 t u l t equal to f 2 t these are boundary conditions. So, this is equation and equation is defined for t greater than or equal to 0 and x is lying between 0 to l here. So, here it is uh, b c condi uh, boundary conditions and uh, u of x 0 equal to say f of x here and u t x 0 equal to g of x here. So, here in uh, our problem may be like this that your boundary conditions are also non homogeneous and initial condition is also non homogeneous. So, uh, here we can consider the following way by which we can uh, say uh, make our problem uh, in a homogeneous boundary condition rather than non homogeneous boundary condition. So, for that uh, you consider the following uh, transformation you consider another function say v x t equal to u x t plus uh, uh, some function a x plus b here. So, here I am assuming that a is a function of t and b is a function of t. So, we have taken a linear function and we now with the help of uh, this new transform function we try to um, say change our problem in a way such that um, our boundary condition are become homogeneous. Because so far uh, the problem which we have uh, considered is only for homogeneous boundary conditions. We have not considered the non-homogeneous boundary conditions. So, let us say that here let us utilize that we want that v 0 t must be 0, but if you look at u x t is what uh, u of 0. So, at say x equal to 0 we want to see. So, at x equal to 0 we want that v 0 t has to be 0. So, uh, but u 0 t is f 1 t. So, f 1 t uh, plus a t into 0 plus b t. So, this will give you that your b t must be equal to minus f 1 t right. Now, if we look at x equal to l then your v l t we want 0, but it is given as f 2 t plus a t into l plus b t here. So, in this way you can find out your a t into l is equal to minus f 2 t minus b t, but b t we have already obtained. So, we, we can write our a t 
is equal to uh, minus B t is what? Minus B t is F 1 t. So, we have F 1 t minus F 2 t divided by L. So, you have A t as F 1 t minus F 2 t divided by L here. Now, it means that if we assume V x t as U x t plus uh, F 1 t minus F 2 t divided by L times x minus f 1 t then this v of 0 t must be 0 and that you can check here. So, here if we took uh, f 1 t and you can check that it is coming out to be 0 and v of l t is coming out to be 0 as well. Because if you put uh, v of uh, here then we will get uh, that it is coming out to be 0. But so, in this way we can uh, make our uh, boundary conditions as a homogeneous boundary condition, but when you uh, take uh, v as a function of u then of course, your uh, equation will also change because right now u satisfy this uh, um, uh, equation as well as these boundary conditions. So, what we have uh, seen that boundary condition can be made homogeneous, but what about this uh, uh, initial condition and the equation itself. So, look at here. So, here you need to find out what is u x 0. So, let us find out what a v x 0. So, v x 0 is basically what u x 0, u x 0 is what f of x. So, we have f of x plus now uh, it means f 1 f 1 0 minus f 2 0 divided by L into x minus f 1 0. So, this in place of uh, this v x 0 we have uh, v x 0 will take this following value. So, u x 0 if we u x 0 take will uh, this f of x value then v x 0 will take f of x plus f 1 0 minus f 2 0 divided by L into x minus f 1 0. Similarly, you can calculate say v t x 0. So, v t x 0 will be what? Here, here you can calculate the v t x t is equal to u t x t plus f 1 dash uh, t minus f 2 dash t divided by L times x minus f 1 dash t. Now, put uh, 0 here. So, you can find out let me do it here in a uh, okay, let me do it here. So, u t x t is your g of x here plus f 1 uh, dash 0. So, f 1 dash 0 minus f 2 dash 0 divided by L minus f 1 dash 0 here. So, this is v x 0, this is v t x 0, v 0 t 0, v l t is 0. Now, look at the equation itself. So, now equation is what? We have equation is say u t t um, minus u x x uh, equal to f of x t. So, here I have taken uh, say uh, c, uh, I am not taking c square, but you can take c square x s. So, now here we have v of x t is equal to u of x t plus a t x plus b t, where a t is given as f 1 t minus f 2 t divided by L and b t is your minus f 1 t, right. So, now let us find out what is the value of u t t. So, here if you differentiate uh, e, let me write it u x t here. So, u x t is basically what v x t um, minus a t x minus b t. So, let us find out u t t. So, u t t will be uh, v t t minus a double dash t x minus b double dash t. So, here I am assuming that your initial condition uh, say boundary condition b f 1 and f 2 are twice differentiable otherwise we cannot find out this. So, here your u t t is given as this. Now, look at u x x. So, u x x will be v x x minus here if you differentiate uh, a t x then it will uh, since it is a linear function a t x uh, and b t. So, here uh, uh, if you take uh, twice differential with respect to x then you will get 0. So, here uh, u x x is equal to v x x. So, using this and this we can write it u t t as v t t uh, minus a double dash t x minus b double dash t minus now u x x is written as v x x. So, v x x equal to f of x t. So, we can write v t t minus v x x equal to f of x t plus a double dash t 
x plus b double dash t and we already have values of a t and b t here. So, now your equation is now reduced to v t t minus v x x equal to f x t plus a double dash t x plus b double dash t. Now, v 0 t is equal to 0, v l t is equal to 0 and v x 0 is this condition. So, previous condition which we have uh, denoted as f x plus let me write it here f of x plus f 1 0 minus f 2 0 divided by L into this x minus f 1 0 here. I think I have written correctly yes and v t x 0 is basically what? It is g of x plus f 1 dash 0 minus f 2 dash 0 divided by L times x minus f 2 dash f 1 dash 0 here. So, let us uh, denote this entire thing as new say f tilde x t this you denote as f, f tilde say x and this you denote as g tilde x. So, this entire thing. So, this entire thing let us denote as g tilde x and this entire thing you denote as f tilde x. Then this problem is now reduced to v t t minus v x x equal to f tilde x t v 0 t equal to 0 equal to v l t and v x 0 equal to f tilde x and v t x 0 equal to g tilde x. Now, problem is that okay, we have solved so far we have solved uh, only this thing that our, our uh, uh, boundary conditions are homogeneous initial condition is there, but we have not solved the non-homogeneous problem. So, how to solve this non-homogeneous problem? Uh, so, it means that we started with what? We started with uh, this problem that we have u t t minus u x x equal to f x t. So, equation is also non-homogeneous u 0 t equal to f 1 t, u l t equal to f 2 t. So, your boundary conditions are also uh, non-homogeneous and initial condition is already given that u x 0 equal to f of x, u t x 0 equal to g of x. So, first thing is what? First thing is to convert our problem with homogeneous boundary condition. So, to convert our problem into homogeneous boundary condition, we take this kind of uh, linear transformation. So, v x t is written as u x t plus a t x plus b t and we try to find out a t and b t says that our boundary conditions are become homogeneous condition. But when we uh, uh, do this, then your equation is also changed and your initial condition will also uh, change a bit. So, now our problem is now reduced to this that your equation is your v t t minus v x x equal to f tilde x t v 0 t equal to 0 v l t equal to 0 v x 0 is f tilde x v t x 0 equal to g tilde x. Now, uh, we need to solve this non homogeneous problem. So, what to do here because so far we have not done let us solve this problem into uh, by splitting your v as to v 1 and v 2. So, as we are doing for uh, your uh, Home, uh, non homogeneous or ordinary differential equation. In non homogeneous ordinary differential equation, we write down the solution as solution of homogeneous problem plus solution of a non homogeneous problem. So, here also we let us look at v 1 and v 2 are uh, 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 are to such function such that I can write v as v 1 plus v 2. Now, what v 1 and v 2 will satisfy? Let us say that here your v 1 will satisfy the following thing. So, here v 1 will satisfy what? v 1 will satisfy uh, this equation that v 1 t t let me use this uh, minus v 1 x x equal to 0 v 1 0 t equal to v 1 l t equal to 0 and v 1 x 0 equal to f tilde x and v 1 uh, t x 0 equal to g tilde x. So, v 1 will satisfy this and v 2 will satisfy what? v 2 t t minus v 2 x x equal to f tilde x t v 2 0 t equal to v 2 l t equal to 0 and v 2 x 0 equal to 0 and v 2 um, t x 0 equal to 
0. So, now we write that v 1 satisfy this equation. So, here what is v 1? v 1 is the homogeneous v 1 satisfy the homogeneous wave equation with homogeneous boundary condition and non homogeneous initial condition and we already know how to find out this solution right this we have done. And here your x is lying between 0 to l and um, uh, yeah and t greater than 0 equal to. So, we already uh, handle this kind of situation and if we can solve this then our claim is that this v 1 plus v 2 will solve will um, um, satisfy this equation. In fact, you can try this that if we take v 1 v equal to v 1 plus v 2 then we will satisfy this following equation v t t minus v x x equal to f tilde x t and v of uh, 0 t equal to 0 equal to v l t and v x 0 equal to f tilde x and v t x 0 equal to g tilde x. So, here uh, you simply uh, do what? You have v 1, you already know what v 1 satisfy and u 2 satisfy, then you find out uh, that here your v x x is equal to v 1 x x plus v 2 x x and v t t uh, is equal to v 1 t t plus v 2 t t and then uh, use here the expression for v 1 and v 2 and you can see that that we will satisfy this equation. So, it means that our problem this problem is now reduced to solving two simpler problem. So, one problem is this which we have already solved another problem is this problem which we are going to solve. So, it means that if we solve this problem this problem is already solved. So, we can solve this problem right and once we know the solution of this problem it means once we know v x t a t x is already a t is already known to us v t is already known to us and with the help of the translation now you can find out the solution of u t which we have started with this that u t is this. So, it means that then we can solve a bigger problem. So, what we have done here we are trying to solve a bigger problem by decomposing into simpler problems. So, first thing is whenever we have uh, any non homogeneous equation uh, is given we have to look at the boundary condition. If boundary condition is non homogeneous then we will adopt this procedure. If uh, boundary condition are uh, homogeneous then we start uh, directly from this ok. So, how to start directly with this from here we find out v 1 and v 2 satisfying the following two p d s p d 1 and p d 2. Now, this is already solved uh, in previous lecture and this we are going to solve in this lecture and we will see that if we solve this then v 1 plus v 2 will solve a non homogeneous problem with homogeneous boundary condition with initial conditions. So, let us uh, uh, this is the motivation why we are considering uh, this kind of problem non homogeneous problem with homogeneous boundary condition as well as non uh, uh, as well as homogeneous initial condition as well. So, now uh, we will focus on how to solve uh, how to obtain this v 2 here. So, look at this problem now that we are considering the problem u t t minus u x x equal to f of x t. So, here we have a non homogeneous uh, 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 equation non homogeneous partial differential equation is given your boundary condition is uh, uh, 0 as well as the initial condition is also coming out to be 0. Now, once we solve this then uh, we know we have solved for v 2 and we have already v 1. So, we can solve the bigger problem. So, now let us um, um, focus now how to solve this particular problem. So, here we already know that here f x t is the external driving force and motivating by the solution of vibrating string in the absence of external force we assume the solution in this case as this. If you recall uh, in a homogeneous problem we have uh, written u x t is equal to uh, this term sin n pi x by L uh, will come because we have initial condition that u of 0 t equal to 0 and u of L t equal to 0. If you recall we have solved our problem like this that we have our problem like u t t uh, minus uh, uh, minus c square u x x equal to 0 and you here you have to assume u x t equal to x of x and t of t. Then we uh, when you solve this it is x double dash 
uh, uh, c square x double dash equal to uh, t double dash divided by x divided by t. And when you solve this, then uh, we have uh, initial condition that is u of um, um, 0 t equal to 0 and u of l t equal to 0. So, it means that your x of 0 equal to 0 and x of l equal to 0 because we are assuming that t t is not ending equal to 0. So, we can say that we, uh, we are uh, uh, solving our problem x double dash plus uh, some uh, your separation constant k x equal to 0 and here similarly t double dash minus um, k c square uh, t equal to 0. So, here we uh, try to solve this equation using initial condition a uh, boundary condition x 0 equal to 0 and x l equal to 0 and it is coming out to be that our solution is x equal to x equal to some c n sin n pi x by l right. So, uh, so this solution we obtain uh, which satisfy our boundary condition that is x of 0 equal to 0 or we can say that u 0 t is equal to 0 and u l t equal to 0. So, it means that this component is satisfying the boundary condition. So, motivated by this fact uh, let us say that our um, solution for the non homogeneous problem is u x t equal to n, uh, n equal to 1 to infinity phi n t sin n pi x by l because this part is here for says so that it satisfy the boundary condition given here and this phi n t is uh, 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 we obtain the constant involved in phi n t we obtain with the help of uh, initial condition. So, let us say that here phi n t is some unknown function and we try to find out phi n t uh, which satisfy the uh, given conditions. So, let us say that here uh, we are assuming that our solution is written in this following form and here since for every n this is a solution of non homogeneous problem. So, let us use uh, the principle of superposition and we say that uh, let us say that u x t equal to n to uh, 1 to infinity phi n t sin n pi x by l is a solution of non homogeneous problem or not. So, we have to find out phi n t such that it will solve our problem. So, now <coughs> this will uh, satisfy the initial condition, initial condition what u x 0 equal to 0 and um, u uh, uh, t x 0 equal to 0. So, u x 0 is 0 means u x 0 is what that is phi n 0 sin n pi x by l. Now, here uh, we uh, assume that your phi n 0 in a way such that it will satisfy this condition that phi n 0 is equal to 0. Similarly, if you look at u t x 0 then it is what summation phi n dash uh, 0 sin n pi x by l. So, here we put this additional condition that each phi n will satisfy these initial condition that phi n 0 is equal to 0 and phi n dash 0 equal to 0. So, these are the condition which we are putting on this unknown function phi n t. So, our aim is to find out this uh, phi n t such that uh, it will solve our problem. So, sin n pi x by l we have taken so that it satisfy the boundary condition and phi n t we have taken uh, um, we are going to find out a function which satisfy the uh, initial condition that is phi n 0 equal to 0 and phi n dash 0 equal to 0 for each n. Now, uh, it, it will satisfy uh, our problem non homogeneous problem provided that it satisfy the partial differential equation. So, partial differential equation means u t t a minus u x x. Uh, here u t t minus u x x equal to f of x t and please note down here I have taken uh, c as 1. If uh, c is there then you can put it no problem. It will not uh, affect any of the procedure here. Uh, the only thing is that presence of c will be uh, uh, recorded here. So, now here uh, we simply calculate u uh, x x. So, u uh, x x uh, in fact if you look at uh, here u x t equal to this then u uh, you can find out u t t as uh, summation phi n double dash t sin n pi x by l. No other chain will be there, right. But if you find out u x x, then you have to differentiate this sin n pi x by l twice. So, here we will get phi n t, and when you uh, uh, differentiate this, we will have cos n pi x by l into n pi by l. And again if you differentiate then there is a minus sign will appear and you will write it is uh, sin n pi x by l into n pi by l whole square. So, that is incorporating all this thing we have this as uh, uh, n equal to 1 to infinity phi n double dash t plus n square pi square upon l square c square phi n t into sin n pi x by l equal to f x t. Now, here uh, let us assume that we have uh, written here 
this c square. So, let us uh, write here that phi n double dash t plus n square pi square upon l square c square phi n t into sin n pi x by, uh, x by l equal to f of x t. So, here we have uh, this equation n equal to 1 to infinity phi n double dash t plus n square pi square c square upon l square phi n t sin n pi x by l equal to f of x t and uh, we are focusing only on how to solve this phi n t. So, here uh, uh, we have write n equal to 1 to infinity phi n double dash t plus omega n square phi n t sin n pi x by l uh, equal to f x t. Here we simply uh, simplify our notation n pi c by l by omega n and we multiply this uh, equation by sin k pi x by l and integrating with respect to x from x equal to 0 to x equal to l and integrating uh, interchanging the order of the summation and integration. So, here we have taken the liberty that here I can interchange the order of the uh, integration and the summation. So, here we are assuming that this is uh, uh, this series is uniformly convergent here. So, here uh, if we can do, uh, do this interchange then we can write uh, a 61 that n equal to 1 to infinity phi n double dash t, t plus omega n square phi n t into 0 to l sin n pi x by l into sin k pi x by l dx equal to 0 to l f x t sin n k pi x by l and denote this as uh, f k bar t. So, when we look at this using the orthogonality this value is uh, non-zero only when, when k is equal to n otherwise uh, this is uh, going to be 0. So, using the orthogonality property of the function sin n pi x by l we can say that if n equal to k then we have a non-zero value and value is given by 2 by l. Uh, l by 2. So, it is uh, now uh, this uh, series infinite series is now reduced to single term phi k double dash t plus omega k square phi k t 0 to l sin square k pi x by l dx equal to 0 to l f x t sin k pi x by l. Now, using the uh, value here 0 to l sin square k pi x by l dx we can write down this equation as phi k double dash t plus omega k square phi k t equal to 2 by l f k bar t. So, now let us uh, uh, this is true for every k equal to 1 to n now which is a linear second order od and can be solved using the method of variation of parameter. So, now we want to solve phi k double dash t plus omega k square phi k t equal to f k uh, bar t. Now, here 2 by l is incorporated in a, a definition of f k bar t and we can write f k bar t is 2 by l 0 to l f x t sin k pi x by l dx and here this is second order uh, ordinary, ordinary differential equation and satisfy the following uh, initial condition that is phi k 0 equal to 0 and phi k dash 0 equal to 0. So, our aim is now uh, solve this equation and which is a simple second order non homogeneous problem and given in uh, terms of t and we want to solve this. So, here we let us assume that we have a variation of parameter method. So, for that uh, let us uh, look at the uh, complementary function of the homogeneous problem that is uh, phi k double dash t plus omega k square uh, phi k t equal to 0 and we already know the solution here is a cos omega k t plus b sin omega k t. So, here a and b are some constant. So, in a variation of parameter we simply assume that this a and b are not constant it is a parameter. So, let us say that this phi k t which is written as a t cos omega k t plus b t sin omega k t. Now, here a t and b t are parameter. Now, we want to choose the parameter a t and b t in a way such that this phi k t satisfy the non homogeneous problem. So, if it satisfies the non homogeneous problem then uh, uh, let us find a t b t uh, by putting this phi k t into equation number 64. So, when you uh, find out the first derivative we have phi k dash t equal to a dash t cos omega k t plus b dash t sin omega k t minus omega k a t sin omega k t plus omega k b t. Uh, cos of omega t. We simply differentiate once. Now, we choose uh, our a t and b t since a t b t are any arbitrary functions. Now, so our uh, we can put uh, some condition on a t and b t. So, let us put the following condition then this part is equal to 0. So, we choose our a t b t says that this a dash t cos omega k t plus b dash t sin omega k t is 0. Now, using this condition now uh, then phi k t is reduced to what? Phi k t is reduced to only this term. Now, again differentiate uh, one more one more time. So, we have a dash t omega k square cos omega k t minus uh, b dash t omega k square sin omega k t minus a dash t uh, um, omega k sin omega k t plus b dash t omega k cos omega k t. Now, here using phi k double dash t and 
phi t phi k t put it back to equation number 64. When you put it back what you will have is the following thing that um, rest will cancel out and we will have if you look at it is what um, if you simplify you will get omega k b dash t cos omega k t minus a dash t sin omega k t equal to f k bar t. So, here what we have done we have uh, uh, used the value of phi k double dash t and phi k t put it back to equation number 64 and uh, what we have is this there is a minus sign here. So, here uh, uh, we solve equation number 65 and 66 because these are the only two condition uh, we have uh, put on a t and b t. So, we have two equation a dash t cos omega k t plus b dash t sin omega k t equal to 0 and omega k b dash t cos omega k t minus a dash t sin omega k t equal to f k bar t. So, here we can solve uh, this by say system of uh, uh, linear equation or you just sim simply solve right. Uh, so, here we multiply something and we simplify and we have a dash t equal to. So, let me do it this thing this is a dash t b dash t equal to 0 f k bar t and here we have a relation cos of omega k t sin, uh, sin omega k t and here we have um, this uh, uh, minus sin omega k t into omega k here here we have one more that omega k cos of omega k t. So, we can solve this system of linear equation to find out a dash t and b dash t. So, let us say that we have solved we have a dash t equal to f k bar t sin omega k t omega k and b dash t equal to f k bar t cos omega t divided by omega k. Now, uh, once we have a dash t b dash t we can find out a t b t by integrating and we have a t as minus 1 upon omega k 0 to t f k bar xi sin omega k xi d xi and b t as 1 upon omega k 0 to t f k bar xi cos omega k xi d xi. So, a t b t is given to us then put it back to phi t. So, phi t, uh, phi t will be what a t uh, I think a t cos of here we have assumed a t cos omega k t. So, let me write it here a t cos of omega k t plus uh, b t sin of omega k t. So, here we, did, uh, we just put it here the value of a t and b t and when you say cos omega k into sin omega k xi and um, cos omega k into sin omega xi. So, here using sin a minus b formula we can write phi k t equal to 1 upon omega k 0 t f k bar xi sin omega k t minus xi d xi. So, once we have phi k t then our uh, solution it is written as u x t equal to k to uh, 1 to infinity omega uh, phi k uh, t into sin k pi x by l. Now, omega t uh, k t is value 1 upon omega k 0 to t f k bar xi sin omega k t minus xi d xi. So, and once we have this, uh, so this is a solution of a particular problem. Then uh, if u 1 is a solution of the problem defined means uh, defined for uh, 21 and 21 that is homogeneous uh, boundary. Here I can say like this that here if uh, b 1 is a solution of this problem then uh, and u t is a solution of the problem which we have just discussed then u 1 plus u 2 is a solution of the following problem that is u t t minus u x x equal to f, f of x t u 0 t equal to uh, 0 equal to u l t equal to 0 and u x 0 equal to f of x u t x 0 equal to g of x. So, u 1 is this part. So, u 1 is this part that k equal to 1 to infinity a k cos omega k t plus b k sin omega k t sin k pi x by l and this is the part u 2 which we have just obtained that it is k equal to 1 to infinity 1 upon omega k 0 to t f k bar xi sin omega k t minus xi d xi sin k pi x by l and here you can find out the value of a k and b k using the initial condition that is a k equal to 2 by l 0 to l f of x sin k pi x by l dx and b k equal to 2 by n pi by c 0 to l g x sin k pi x by uh, l dx. Now, here uh, again if you look at this uh, uh, series solution 72 here uh, we have uh, not discussed any stability uh, convergence criteria 
and so I right now I can say that this is just a formal series solution because we have not discussed any convergence criteria and we have utilized one thing that here your integration and integ uh, integration and summation can be interchanged we have already utilized that. So, I right now I can say that this equation number 72 will solve a non homogeneous problem equation number 69 along with homogeneous boundary condition and uh, non homogeneous initial condition. So, uh, in this lecture we have seen how to solve a non homogeneous problem with non homogeneous boundary condition with homogeneous uh, non homogeneous initial condition. If we have non homogeneous equation with non homogeneous boundary condition with non homogeneous initial condition then also how we can solve this problem ok you by converting into a simpler problems ok. So, here we uh, will stop we will continue in next lecture thank you very much for listening thank you.